on your television screens at Ben TV, streamed on Wrestle Rewind and on YouTube. This is AWA World Fighting Showcase for Tanya. I am your host, Dick Witherspoon, bringing you three big matches with a truly international feel this week. We kick off with the debut of the man you see just to the right hand side of your screen there, the funeral director, a man that certainly knows his way around the ring and a big man at that, managed by P.D. Crockett, the AWA owner, taking on the American Eagle. Catch weight this one, the American Eagle giving away quite a few pounds to the big funeral director. Still to come on this one, Alaskan style tag team match, two against one, and the AWA top rope wrestling light heavyweight title is on the line in our main event this week. The Soul Killer taking on Japanese sensation Blue Tiger. This is AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia. This one coming to you from Wolverley Sports and Social Club, where we will be back on Saturday afternoon. October 26. Be sure to join us at Wolverley. 3 p.m. start for that one. Big side headlock applied now by the funeral director in his AWA TV debut. Clock right to the top of the head there. Looked like uh, Eagle went for a hip toss. On the bigger man. Mauling him in the corner now. Funeral director has made several AWA appearances of late. This is first on TV, but let me tell you, this guy can go. He has to, to be a part of uh, the Pity Crockett administration. Big corner posting. Pity Crockett there at ringside with a microphone, adding his own bit of commentary. Big chop there from the funeral director. Come direct, stop toying with him now. A hard hitting, mauling type of wrestler throws the young American to the outside where Petey Crockett, the AWA owner, is. What are you doing out here? Come on. Your match is in there. What are you doing? Don't, don't Referee Mr. X now. Where are you in there? Keep in. The funeral director back. Eagle. A little dubious to get back in the ring there. Misses the elbow. And back in. Now is the chance for the younger, smaller American Eagle as he lays those kicks in. Heavy to the midsection of the funeral director. There's the hip toss that he was trying earlier on. He gets it. Nicely done. And the funeral director decides to take a walk outside the ring and refresh himself a little. Some heavy artillery was laid in there from the ego. Whoa, big double axe hammer right to the face. Get him in the Throws the funeral director back in the ring. Back in now, the American Eagle. Looking for more attack, but a big clothesline. Wow. Took the head so off the Eagle, did that one. The funeral director was waiting for him. And now, blatant joke right in front of the referee, but he knows exactly when to break it. This may be the AWA TV debut of the funeral director, but he is a established wrestling veteran. From corner to corner now. Moves out of the way, does the ego. Big shoulder barge. And once again, those kicks coming in from the Eagle. What's he gonna go for here? Big 
low drop kick right to the chest of the of the funeral director. Pin attempt, the first of the contest, I believe. Just manages to grab the ropes, does the funeral director, and back to his feet. Off the ropes now. Ducks that one. Whoa. Big uppercut like. Elbow smash. This could be it. We've seen him use this before. A devastating maneuver. And that's put the American Eagle away. Your winner. As announced by Petey Crockett at ringside, the funeral director. What a debut on TV that was. Stay with us. We'll be back. Alaskan tag match up next. Next up, here on AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia, Alaskan style tag team contest. Two against one. Here she is, Lacey James. Set to join the very popular Barnsley Brawler to make the team of two to take on World Fighting Showcase British heavyweight champion, Lewis Blaine. He was on his own in this one, originally scheduled to be Lewis and Peggy Leather, his manageress, who was at ringside with Lewis Blaine, but Peggy Leather not cleared to wrestle due to uh, recent injuries. Lewis Blaine taking a walk now. Ask him for the microphone. Up, you load of pubes. Now listen, I want to say a few words first. You're lucky to have me up here tonight in uh, wherever the hell this damn place is, I can't remember. But why am I wrestling two people? Okay, one of them's a woman, the weaker sex, we know how bad they are. But why am I down here wrestling two people when I should be defending my championship against one? That's what I want to know. You signed the contract. Well. <laughs> well. I don't read contracts. I'm too good to read contracts. But at least I can read. I like these pubes. All around here from Wolverhampton. That's it. Wolverhampton. All these people here from Wolverhampton. That's where we are. Lewis Blaine got plenty to say here. Not happy that he's one person wrestling too, but he signed the contract. He knows the situation. He understands that Peggy Leather is not being cleared to wrestle medically. But he also knows that right here on TV on November the 1st, it is the big rematch for the World Fighting Showcase British Heavyweight Championship between Lewis himself and a member of the opposing team today, the Barnsley Brawler. They will go one-on-one -on -one with judges at ringside. Last match went to a draw. 1-1, one, one, six-round draw. The match on TV here on November the 1st will be six rounds, two falls, two submissions with judges at ringside keeping score. So there will be a decisive winner in that one right here on TV November the 1st. Alaskan style tag match. Lacey James and the Barnsley Brawler must tag in. As per regular tag match, Lewis Blaine all on his own, but even though Peggy Leather is not cleared to wrestle, you know she will get involved as and when. Three big matches on this week's show. Next week, three big matches once again. The Outpatient back on TV, taking on Blue Tiger. So Killer takes on the lady in the match right now, Lacey James. And the Oscar back from Hollywood. Taking on TV champion Dickie Bowen. In a uh, 
a suitcase match, a world wrestling first, let me tell you. Next week, right here on TV, be part of wrestling history. This, the longest established British style wrestling show since ITV stopped the broadcast of their wrestling in 1988. A hundred, sorry, 203 episodes in now. This, episode 203 of AWA, World Fighting Showcase Britannia. On the arm now, Lacey James. Already in trouble, the man on his own. Lewis Blaine, but a very established veteran of the rings of Europe, like I said, international field to this one. We've already seen the American Eagle. And now we're seeing Blaine, who is a huge star throughout Europe. Rolled up, nicely done. And out for a walk goes Blaine. That arm obviously causing him trouble. After the onslaught early on from both the Barnsley Brawler and Lacey James. Lewis Blaine, former European champion over in France. Back on the arm now. Tag in once again, in comes. Lacey James who's going up high here. Back down with a double X right on the elbow. Cranking on the arm. Shot to the midsection, one to the back. And this time, it's Blaine with the arm lock on. Lacey James reaching for the tag, can't quite make it. Big stomp to the foot there. Really laying him in now. The current World Fighting Showcase British Heavyweight Champion. The original man with the belt. He beat Barnsley Brawler in the final to win that contest, to win the title. And now Peggy Leather, who as we said, not clear to wrestle medically, but certainly getting involved in this one. I believe some kind of ruling to keep her away if if she's not clear to wrestle, even though she has a manager's license, which obviously she is using right now. Nerve hold. Shots to the midsection and back on the arm once again. Great wrestling from Lacey James to go back to where she has already been working on and is already weak on Lewis Blaine. Nicely done. Great technique there from Blaine. Put a little extra purchase. You notice there on the bottom rope. Blaine just pushing that little extra weight. Nice nip up. Tag in. Brawler back in. Elbow to the upper arm. Hammerlock applied now. Side headlock from the brawler to Lewis Blaine. Two men that know each other very, very well. Off the ropes, Blaine. Shoulder tackle and down goes the Barnsley brawler. Still to come on this one. AWA, top rope wrestling. Light heavyweight title, the soul killer. Taking on Japanese mass sensation, Blue Tiger. Rubbing. Something looks like that armband, wristband, right to the eyes of Brawler. And once again, the shots are being laid in by Peggy Leather. Just a two count. We predicted this right from the start. Peggy Leather, not clear to wrestle medically but she is still at ringside and still very much getting involved. In my opinion, if she can get involved like this, she should be in the match. Come on, 
And Blaine still moaned about being on his own. Solid rear chin lock there. See the face of the brawler. Going very red. Twice the arm was lifted of the brawler from referee Mr. X. Slipped out of the chin lock and back on the arm. Lewis playing in trouble now. Leg drop on the arm. Rolled over. Just a two. Big kick out from Blaine. Looks like it hurt the back a little, that one. Whoa, close line. Blaine went nowhere. Whoa, ducks that one. And that one took Blaine down. Nicely done from Lacey James. Tries it once again. Whoa. Blaine knew exactly what was coming that time and dropped Lacey back first. The already injured back of Lacey James should have had. DDT attempt now on Blaine, but picked up by the veteran. Push down, nicely done. Illegally, but nicely done nonetheless. Once again, Peggy Leather getting involved. And Lacey James ain't having none of this. Wow. In the ring, a big shot with the World Fighting Showcase British title to Barnsley Brawler. And that is all she wrote. Your winner. I don't think he was on his own at all because Peggy Leather played a big part in this one. Your winner, Lewis Blaine. Brackets and Peggy Leather. Stay with us. After the break. This one is for all the marbles in light heavyweight championship wrestling. The AWA top rope wrestling light heavyweight title on the line, the current champion Soul Killer, along with Thomas J. Curtis at ringside, set to take on the number one contender for that title. That man right there, the Japanese mass sensation, Blue Tiger. Blue Tiger recently won the position of number one contender to the AWA top rope light heavyweight title. And this is his chance. Two fast wrestlers, two skilled wrestlers, two very young, very hungry wrestlers. Right now, the title belongs to the maniacal man from the dark side, the soul killer. Often that's put in thanks to Thomas J. Curtis, his manager, for helping him and guiding him along the way. Right now it's Blue Tiger on the arm. Rolled out and taken. Say what you want about the soul killer. Been a little bit... Uh, dark-minded but he's got the skills in the ring cranking those fingers right back there if it's the whole hand it's legal let me tell you tiger in trouble planning an escape this tiger just powers out short stocky man is the blue tiger Former AWA light heavyweight, sorry, a former HCW light heavyweight champion. Back in the AWA's HCW days. You're not only going to see great mat wrestling action in the light heavyweight division. You'll see high flying action. You will see speedy, speedy action. Just like that one, very quick reverse from the Soul Killer. Now knocks the foot away. Once again on those fingers is the Soul Killer. Got a mouthful of fingers there illegally, but on the blind side of the referee, so. 
He gets away with that one. Kick from Tiger. So good with those martial arts kicks. Wow. Pull of the mask. Nice arm drag. And a drop kick. Just like I said, speedy, high flying action. As you will only see in the light heavyweight division here in the AWA. Thanks to Top Rope Wrestling, our friends in the United States for combining their Top Rope Wrestling AWA light heavyweight title. Back out after him. Blue Tiger takes the fight to the Soul Killer. And now going all over the building. This not a false count any or no disqualification contest. So these guys have got to be careful they don't get counted out by referee Mr. X. Tiger throws him back in now. Soul Killer in trouble. Off the ropes once again. Big clothesline down. Second one now. Scoops him up. Michinoku driver. Kick out so close. We almost had a new AWA top rope wrestling light heavyweight champion. Action guaranteed in the AWA light heavyweight division. Wow. Soul Killer just knocked the head right off of the Blue Tiger and then them stomps. Just a two. I believe Tiger could have got out early then, but he was using the Full two count to get himself a little rest there. Blows reined in. Tiger tried to cover up from that one best he could, but they were coming in sharp, let me tell you. Scooped up in a big slam. By the powerful young light heavyweight champion. Thomas J. Curtis, the manager of champion and champion of managers. He's also the manager of the outpatient. He's the manager of the AWA heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Rose. He's the manager of AIWF six-man champion and uh, AWA TV champion, Dickie Bowen. And now, wow, just like we saw in the last match with Peggy Leather getting involved. This time it's Thomas J. Curtis laying the kicks in outside the ring. And then he waltzes around the ring as if nothing happened. I genuinely believe that the AWA needs to keep a closer eye on the outside managers. When the AWA owner, Petey Crockett, is a manager himself, I don't think a ruling like that will pass. With that said, we have World Fighting Showcase Commissioner Chuck McKinney. We have AIWF Commissioner Sir Mo, and we have Ken Stryker of uh, Top Rope Wrestling, the general manager there, all part of the AWA Board of Directors. Something certainly can be done. Pin attempt now. Just the two. This has been hard action. Our main event this week, Soul Killer. The AWA Top Rope Wrestling Light Heavyweight Champion taking on the number one contender, Japanese mass sensation, Blue Tiger. 
we have seen the AWA TV debut of the funeral director as he rode over the American Eagle. We saw Lewis Blaine pick up a victory over the Barnsley Brawler and Lacey James. And now our main event. Be sure to join us next week. Outpatient versus Blue Tiger, Soul Killer versus Lacey James, and Oscar taking on Dickie Bowen in a suitcase match. Blue Tiger back in the game now. Scoops him up on the shoulder. What a powerful man. What a power slam. That's got to be it. New champion, no. So close. Just inches away. Going up now to the middle rope. Blue Tiger. Thomas J. Curtis, the manager, once again getting involved, but he gets knocked off. Here we go. What's he going to hit here? He misses that one. Tiger in trouble now. Soul Killer pulling that knee pad down for the big running knee. Watch out. Whoa. Right to the side of the face, to the shoulder, and that is all. Still, the AWA Top Rope Wrestling Light Heavyweight Champion. Once again, thanks to Thomas J. Curtis. It's the Soul Killer. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to join us next week.